Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. So please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, two kits I have made up. I've settled on these now and these are basically finished off. These are for my 1700s traditional tinder boxes. I've showed this one before, but I've settled on the kit I am doing for my other one these are my working tinder boxes the ones i'm using every day i've i swapped between the two of them and now um i basically have two tinder boxes that i use each day um i tend to um swap between the two of them this one hasn't changed it's just a leather pouch i made up myself has the traditional tinder box i did swap out the punk wood i put my backyard punk wood back into a big tin and put that latest punk wood that i got off concerned aussie because it seems to be a lot better quality punk wood so i'm trying it out for a bit i'm going to cycle it through so yeah it's um yeah good stuff so i put that in there just bag of jute and I didn't swap I was going to put some some of those beeswax candles I just got but that's just a paraffin candle big quite a big candle stump in there in the bottom there so yeah a standalone ticket all fits in there nice and neat for the traditional tinder box and if you look at it it's got, actually got enough room in there you could slip a if you wanted to slip a striker down the back without too much drama and Although there is probably not much room else for a rock. That's the only thing you're probably not going to be able to fit in there. But it wouldn't be too hard to put a, a um, couple of pieces of quartzite or flint in your pocket. And you have a kit. So, yeah. That's that one all sorted. Made that kit myself, out of leather, works really well, really like it, not a bad kit. <laughs> this is the other one. Um, I, at the moment I'm using a pocket out of a cargo pants, um, seems to fit this one really well. I might make up a leather pocket or might just go with a oil skin might make an oil skin one at the moment but this one seems to fit it quite well using a, one of those little danish tins worked out well fits my traditional tin again swapped over to the new punk wood this one's got a slow match in it I put the bag in the bottom there just to give it a little bit of um, cushioning. This one does have three fire biscuits in it, jute, and three of those beeswax candles in the bottom there, uh, in the side there too. So all ready to go. Um, I can light a candle off of a slow match or I can get the tinder going and use this as a flame extender and whatnot. I can also light the candles off the char punk wood, no dramas whatsoever. So yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you those two 
lots of kits that I have just made up. I do like the traditional leather one, but this, this one in the tin there too is quite a good one. Once you put it in the slipcase, because it's a reasonably tight fit, once it slides down there, just use the, there. It's not a bad little kit. All sorted out, ready to go for your char, and it's got a few bits and pieces in there as well. But anyway, I wanted to show you those kits. Um, yeah, my working tinder boxes. So yeah, I'll probably, when I get my um, German silver one, I am going to make up a, another leather case for it because I think it deserves a leather case for it. Um, I will have to go and get some more toggles, uh, antler toggles for it. Anyway, thanks for watching.